But Cebu is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. It is not surprising that its homegrown cuisine is a major attraction. You can't talk about Cebuano food specialties without talking about its lechon, with its crisp skin and delicately flavored meat. Lechon is often eaten with hanging rice or puso, an integral part of Cebuano food. Called puso, the Cebuano word for banana blossom, these are a creative way of packaging rice. As an island paradise, Cebu is rich with gifts from the sea, best known of which is dangit, or rabbit fish. Best when sun-dried, dangit is best eaten with sukang pinakura, and it is said with one's bare hands. Cebuano desserts are also distinct. Dried mangoes, budbud pilipi, a sticky rice snack, and torta visaya, a tuba pastry. Hello, I'm in the home, the beautiful home, of Annie Osmeña Aboitis, <laughs> who has graciously allowed us into her kitchen. Annie, or Mrs. Aboitis, is one of the most accomplished women of Cebu. She studied uh, fashion design in Parsons, but she will share with us very, very graciously one of her family's heirloom recipes. Hello, yes. thank you for having us. And what are you doing for us today? Well, this is what you call caldo pooch. This is a dish from Barcelona. Uh -huh. Her father, my grandmother's father, originated from Barcelona. Okay. And uh, Puch is an old family uh, name, very common. Uh -huh. And Caldo Puch is, uh, maybe it, it was from a family, the name Puch. Yeah? So this is, this is it. Okay. I mean, yeah. And how do we start? Been crisp yes. and we're retrieving it. This is the last that you put in the soup. Thank you very much for sharing this with us. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> this is Caldo Pucci. 